Jason. Well, I didn't give my name because you don't have to sign in. You don't have to identify yourself. We're not criminals. What they're doing to you is a policy. It's not a law. You should know that, and you can look it up if you want. Baines versus City. It's a First Amendment right. Anyway, uh, my advice to you, Mr. Attorney, is to look into that and get that off of there because we can come up here and talk without having to identify. There's no reprisal. Same thing Carrie did to everybody when they were doing the annexation. She used that list to harass people, so we don't have to do that. I do like how you got rid of the illegal decorum you had up there. We're allowed to address these people and call them pieces of shit, whatever we want, so thank you for that. They are also allowed to talk back to us. It's a First Amendment right. No matter what policy you try to throw at them, you all can talk to us, too. Now, Aaron Jones falsified a government do a document uh, about an investigation. <clears throat> The investigation was over Officer Valdez regarding Herman, the homeless man, that APPD right here beat inside his cell on 426-24. They actually tortured the man. It's on YouTube if you don't want to watch it. Officer Valdez had text message between him and Herman. Herman asked for help because he was beat by a bat the week before these guys beat him up. Uh, Valdez basically told him on text message just to leave town. Officer Aaron Jones found no foundings on that. Yeah, what a joke, right? It's on YouTube, the text messages, and Facebook. You're a fucking liar. Allegation. It's also the allegation that Mr. Herman was placed in restraints and beat. Well, he was placed in restraints. He was beat. Uh, Officer Jones found this unfounding. Well, y'all can watch it on YouTube. The body cam feed is on my YouTube showing Herman was placed in restraints. These restraints are designed for a person sitting up. That's the way they're designed, and they laid him on the ground. This can cause him to aspirate and die, but I guess they didn't care, right? <clears throat> the restraints were bounded around this guy's genitals, and he's screaming in pain as these pieces of shit beat him and found him not guilty. Come on. They tightened the strap several more times as he's screaming. It's around his junk. He's screaming for help, and they kept doing it. They also left his butt and his genitals hanging out as he was trapped for an hour. The female officer asked Mr. Jones if she should cover him up, and Mr. Jones said, and left him there with his butt and his dick hanging out. <laughs> Y'all people are disgusting. Anyway, they, they left him there for an hour. They actually lacerated his left arm, which you can see on the video. There's no wounds prior. But after they beat him up, they left him in a pool of his own fucking blood. Again, Officer Jones said, no foundings, not guilty, of course. They self audit themselves, right? Uh, Mr. Gray has some mental issues. He asked for mental assistance, assistance several times, asked to go to a psych ward several times, and Mr. Jones said that was a lie. He said it seven times on the fucking video. Seven. And he asked for a mental ward three. That's 10 times cry for help. And instead of helping the man that got beat with a bat, y'all beat the crap out of him again. Worthless motherfucker you are. Watch the YouTube channel, guys. I don't fucking lie. This guy lies. These three in the middle lie. They're all pieces of shit and they're liars. Watch the video. Y'all raise hell about these motherfuckers. Because these three won't be here next year. Anyway, that's Texas Penal Code 3708. False report of a police officer. It's a class B misdemeanor. The proof's on the internet. There's no investigation. They didn't do an investigation. You know why? Because they're lying pieces of shit. If I wasn't investigated, y'all wouldn't even know about it. Shameful. Well, how do you and Carrie say? Disgusting. Pieces of shit. Jason, okay. I want to tell you something. And excuse me, I'm going to do this. <clears throat> I reviewed that video. For y'all that don't know me, I'm a 33-year police officer, retired police officer an investigator and I've done many cases like what he's talking about and Jason I reviewed that video that police officers did not beat the man they didn't do nothing to him they tried to be respectful to him yeah, I know listen to me you? you had your time now it's mine well, because this is getting out of hand Jason mm -hmm. they asked him they asked him if he wanted them to pull their pants up and he said no they put him in that restraint deal because that's the way you do it when somebody is trying to hurt themselves. I don't know, listen to me, I do not know why they didn't take him to the hospital. They have their own reasons and I haven't asked. But as for your videos, he was not beat on by the police officers and he was taken, he was, no I'm not Jason. I have the video. So do I. So do I. An hour. He was responsive, he was compliant, he wasn't a threat. They wrapped up his dick and slammed it. Jason, do you know why they put him in the wrap? Because Sir? he was standing up on the toilet, going to fall me. off of it. Show me. He won't give me that video. He denied me that video. Show no, me. That's what it is. Show me. You can't, because he won't give it to you. Will you give me that video, Chief? I'll give you anything you want. I'll get it. 
They told me the video doesn't exist. Lying pieces of shit. This is getting out of hand. Oh, yeah. It's been oh, out of hand. Just, it's just been point of clarification. Just point of clarification. There was a, a very in-depth investigation. Uh, he never requested the documents that explain the gravity of that investigation. The other thing is, is he asked for all the body cam footage. He received all the body cam footage. Uh, there is other video that the council may be privileged to that is recorded in-house. We don't want to just publicly release it. So as part of privilege for council, I can share it. But to release it publicly, I would have to seek an AG opinion to do so because it gives away security details inside of our secure facility. Thank you, Chief. And thank you, Mr.